Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I will show you how to convert a data frame row to a vector in the R programming language. So in the video I'm going to show you an example and this example is based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 to 4 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you will see that a new data frame object appears at the top right of RStudio and we can also have a look at this data frame object by clicking on the data object and then you will see that a new window appears which is showing the structure of our data. So as you can see our data consists of five rows and three columns x1, x2 and x3 whereby all of the columns are numeric columns. Now let's assume that we want to extract one specific row of this data frame. Then we can apply the code that you can see in line 6 and in this line of code we are extracting the third row of our data frame. So if you run this line of code you will see that at the bottom in the RStudio console an output is returned which is showing the third row of our data frame. However you can also see that this output is still a data frame object because you can still see the column names of our data frame and you can also see the row name of our data frame. So if you want to convert this row of the data frame to a vector, then you can wrap the as numeric function around our code, as you can see in line 8. So in this line of code, we are using exactly the same code as in line 6. But this time we are also applying the as numeric function to this code. So if you run this line of code, you will see that at the bottom in the RStudio console, a new output is created. And this output is actually a vector, which is consisting of the values of the third row of our data frame. So this is basically how to convert a data frame row to a vector in the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you could check it out there. And furthermore, I will also put the R programming code that I have shown in this video into the description of the video. Yeah, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me a comment or if you give me thumbs up on the video and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.